What is going on YouTube? k 3 here with a remastered version of my Infinity tutorial. The Infinity is a wipe remove and pen spinning and looks a little something like this. So I mentioned in the figure eight video, which was the one that should have preceded this in the remastered series, that that particular trick used two fingers and had basically two stages. Well, the infinity is a little bit of an extension of that in that it involves three fingers and can be done in, I think, around three stages, if I'm counting correctly. The start of the infinity is very similar to the start of the figure eight in that you're holding it like this uh, between these two fingers and you're letting the pen swing down. But instead of letting it swing all the way down here, just on its own, uh, what you're going to do actually is you're gonna let it swing into the finger slot below the current one. So I'm holding it right now in T1. It's going to swing into the finger slot one, two. You're gonna use your fingers to manipulate the pen to make it spin and roll this way. But instead of letting it go all the way down, note, it's kind of hard to see, I hate this, but uh, note where my index and middle finger are relative to each other. As the pen is swinging down, it will have the tendency, if you're holding your hand palm side anyway, uh, it will have the tendency to fall into this finger slot just like that. So let me try to do that again. So, and this is kind of hard because I usually do this palm side, but since the camera's up, I'm trying to face it up at the same time, which is really weird, but um, hopefully this still works out well. So you're gonna kind of hold like this, let the pen fall. And then again, look at where my index and middle finger are. See how the pen wants to fall naturally into that spot? Don't fight that. You're gonna want it to fall into that finger slot. The reason for that is because you actually need to do a wiper in this finger slot, in the one, two finger slot. And that wiper is going to go this way. I was trying to force it with my fingers, but there's no momentum, so it's kind of really hard. Um, go like that. And then when the pen is swinging this way, you're actually gonna either wanna push it up with your middle finger, as in like that, or just like move your thumb down because you want the pen to start off or to return to where it started and it started here. You see how that works? Um, so there is kind of three stages, I guess. So there's the initial swing or forward swing and you swing it and you let it drop into that finger slot. Now, when I do that, um, it looks more like, it doesn't look really like, you know, that. It looks more like this. And the difference is that, again, I'm turning my hand sideways when I actually do it, I'm holding it more up when I'm showing you guys. Um, but if you do it while your hand's completely palm side, um, and if you don't hit the table like I keep freaking doing, um, the pen is going to fall into that finger slot. And then if you grab it with your index and middle finger, it's going to naturally want to um, continue swinging like this. See how that works? Let's try that again. Um, so you let the momentum from the fall take it into that one, two finger slot. At this point, you want kind of want to let go of your thumb and then grip it like this between your index and your middle. And then um, it's going to continue swinging this way. And then when it does that, it's going to naturally come back around. Now this part is the difficult part because you have to make sure this pen tip doesn't hit your index or your middle finger when it's doing that. Uh, it'll swing in this way and you will have to adjust your grip along the way. You just kind of get, a, you need to get a feel for it. I can't really teach you that, unfortunately. Um, and then let it uh, slowly swing. And then I, I guess I usually pop it up with my middle finger instead of dipping my thumb down here. Um, so you'll do that. And that motion, I guess you kind of do a little bit of both, but let it fall. Let it swing and then do that. And that is infinity. So maybe that is two, maybe that's three steps. I don't know how you want to think about it. Um, but again, to contrast that with the figure eight, which again only uses two fingers and it's just swing, turn your wrist, swing, turn your wrist. Uh, the infinity is a little bit, again, of an extension of that. You swing, um, but you don't turn your wrist and not turning your wrist in this case helps it fall into that one, two finger slot that I'm talking about here. Um, then after that, you're going to want to let it, let the momentum from that fall carry it around like this. And then 
push the pen back up into writing position. And just like the figure eight, you can do the infinity uh, continuously. And when you do it continuously, I'm trying to do this really slow here, you'll see that you barely even have to move your fingers. Your thumb is doing a lot of the work in terms of pushing it around. Um, but really, it's just really subtle hand motions. And hopefully, you can see that. If not, again, there's always a slow-mo at the beginning and at the end of this video. But beyond that, I can't really give you many more pointers about how to do the infinity. Just keep watching this over and over again. Keep in mind, you need three fingers for the infinity, two for the figure eight. And the infinity is slightly more complicated just uh, because there's an extra finger involved and an extra finger slot transfer involved. But it really still is a simple trick. And again, that's all I have to really say about that. Uh, keep watching the slow-mos for more help if you need it. Um, and that will conclude it for this video. So thanks so much for watching. If you have already, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.